We've got to get away from happiness being thought to be a fluffy concept um, or slightly frivolous or a curiosity to taking it seriously. This is what people want for their lives. Let us measure it. If you look at what we know about the causes of people to be satisfied with their lives, um, mental health becomes out as much the most important. The, the quality of your relationship, whether you have a partner, whether you're getting on, the quality of your work, whether you're getting on with your colleagues, the quality of your community, do you feel safe, do you feel it's friendly, uh, all of these things, and of course your physical health, these are the main things that people actually talk about when, when they get together you know, with their friends and family. One of the obvious findings um, of happiness research is that people don't, that on average, people don't much like their work. It's a, a fact that we really need to take very, very seriously that a lot of work is either boring uh, or extraordinarily exhausting. Unemployment is one of the worst things that can happen to somebody. So uh, obviously people are getting something really important, a sense of meaning and purpose, social connection and so on, out of their work. But actually what they are doing a lot of the time at work um, is not very uh, enjoyable. And uh, if we can make it more so, uh, that would be just wonderful. I mean, people are spending uh, a quarter or a third of their waking hours at work. If we can't have a society in which people are enjoying their work, there's something very seriously wrong. And the employer has a huge role in setting the context within which people uh, spend their time at work. So, I mean, here is the most shocking fact that I've come across in happiness research, uh, that the time of day that people, or the time in the week that people least enjoy is when they're with their boss. Now this says something about the management style that we have been generating uh, in recent years, uh, that there's too much rule by the creation of anxiety and fear, and not enough by motivation and enjoyment uh, and inspiration. So we certainly need bosses who will inspire and lead by inspiring rather than by frightening people. And, uh, we certainly don't want pay systems that set one worker against another. So when people are working in a team, I think individual performance pay is a very bad idea. We should have group performance pay. Uh, and that's been shown in the research to produce more happiness than individual performance pay. So there are a lot of changes that need to be made there. But the second thing I would say is the whole attitude to mental health. Quite a high fraction of the workforce are currently suffering from mental illness, let's say one in six. Um, how many will sometime over their working life? Uh, probably one in three. So this is not a small phenomenon uh, when we're talking about the well-being of the population and employers have a, a, a real duty of care. There's a famous study uh, by Alex Edmonds at the London Business School uh, which takes the 100 best places to work in the US and their evaluation um, compared with the rest of the uh, top uh, companies and tracks it over 25 years and the, uh, the top best places to work increase their share value 50% relative to the others. The employers, employees are going to respond if the employer is making their life better because they want to make their life better. And that's the moral thing to do.